Hey, what's up? Uh, Nick Arlinghouse, one of the co-founders, uh, owners of Lakeside Woodworks here in Georgetown, Kentucky. Uh, we have been around since 2015 and we focus on, we like to call them furnishings, so predominantly furniture but also countertops, wallboard, um, wall accent pieces, and other kind of home decor. mostly work with live edge slabs and reclaimed wood. Uh, reclaimed wood is very uh, popular here in central Kentucky. Uh, we have a lot of uh, barns and, and historical fencing and other things in this area so it's one of the things we love doing, being able to carry on the story of what uh, a product was in the past. We also like to call our pieces generational. Uh, we build things to last a lifetime, be able to hand down, be something that uh, families are going to almost fight over for who gets to carry on that piece. All right, so situated right behind me is a uh, slab master from Selective Engineering. It's a company out of Australia. Since we do focus a lot on our live edge slab work, we were in the market for something to speed up our process with flattening slabs. Uh, we had a, a jig set up, your typical router sled, and we were limited on the widths that we could do slightly. Uh, as well as the lengths and it also made a god-awful mess in the entire shop. So uh, we happened to be at a trade show and see a similar machine to this and kind of fell in love with the idea, thought about making one ourselves. Uh, in the process of doing some research we stumbled upon this particular slab master uh, machine and just really thought that this could be a great fit. Uh, reached out, contacted Selective Engineering, started the conversation, and kind of went from there. We ended up importing this machine earlier this year, uh, started the process back in November. Uh, we kind of worked with the company a little bit on setting up, kind of to make it work a little better here in the United States, there's only a few uh, machines that are already here currently in uh, America, uh, but kind of help the process with the motor and their electronics uh, meeting with U.S. Standard Electric, uh, we uh, kind of started talking to them about the option of putting a VFD on it, in which uh, ours is actually the second machine ever to have a VFD. Uh, they, the first one they ended up making for a gentleman in Australia, so uh, we kind of helped them with that process. I don't know if that's the way they do all of theirs now, but uh, we were kind of happy we were able to help with that. Uh, so this machine has a 7 inch diameter cutter head, uses round cutters, uh, and then it also has a 9 inch sanding head. Uh, so we can not only flatten, but we can sand our slabs. Uh, one of the other benefits to going with this machine versus a couple of the other competitors out there, uh, it also has the capabilities of adding some accessories such as a uh, straight line or cross uh, cutting capabilities with a circular saw. Uh, you can also add a plunge router as well as a drill so you can do plunge drilling. Uh, so with this particular machine uh, they make it to the custom sizes. Uh, we chose to do a six foot wide 12 foot length uh, that way we can flatten and, and uh, sand that up to six feet wide 12 foot long uh, either slab. Uh, we've also done uh, our countertops with it. We use it also to give us a uh, uh, basically to join either one side or also the edges of our reclaimed material that we use. A lot of times they have a lot of twist in them, so uh, running them on your traditional joiner, which uh, we also have our, our 12 inch wide joiner planer combo, uh, kind of makes it a little bit more of a challenge. So by us being able to use this machine, we can quickly turn around to reclaim material into some beautiful uh, tabletops and countertops. So our shop here is located behind my house. Uh, it's been uh, an awesome addition. Uh, allows me to uh, basically have the, the shortest commute ever to work. Uh, I come out the back door, walk about 75 feet, and I'm here. 
Uh, but then again, we don't really call this work. We're pretty much just having fun every day. Um, we're probably at about shop setup 1,000, it feels like. Uh, we finally feel like this is a, a good workflow. We have our, uh, our finishing area uh, that we can actually curtain off to prevent as, as much dust as we can from getting in there. Uh, it also, uh, we can vent it outside, so that, that kind of helps with some of the, uh, the higher smelling finishes. Uh, most of the finishes we use are water-based. Uh, we love using General Finishes products. They're uh, somebody we've partnered with uh, and worked with for several years now. Um, the rest of the shop's kind of laid out to where uh, our slab master is kind of here in the center and we can back uh, our trailer right down, put the slabs right on. Uh, large open uh, working space here in the center. Uh, all the heavy machinery uh, are kind of tucked over in the side here where we've got our uh, 25 inch wide planer. Uh, we've got our Grizzly table saw with a, a large four foot by eight foot outfeed workbench table set. Uh, it also has cabinets underneath that we're able to store a lot of our, our small hand tools and, and other uh, uh, incidentals. Uh, nice router table and we have uh, our big uh, oscillating belt sander and another Grizzly uh, band saw. So all of our work flows kind of over here in this area. We've got uh, our dust collection uh, is all able to be piped in here as well. Um, then we also kind of have a, a, our small wood room area to where we're, we're able to store some materials on hand. Uh, we, we try not to get overloaded with materials here in the shop just for space concerns. Uh, we do have another uh, 30 by 60 shop uh, on another property about uh, 10 minutes up the road that we're able to store some things at. Um, and then we've also recently in the last uh, year and a half added the full upstairs loft. Uh, we've kind of been slowly adding that, but uh, we've kind of have a small hand, hand tool work area, small projects, uh, some small storage up there as well as uh, our lathe up there that we, uh, we use from time to time. Uh, so we also have a, uh, an 80 watt 700 by 500 uh, CO2 laser. Uh, we added that early on. Um, we actually sized both the laser and our planer. We were uh, messing with a lot of barrel heads and, and doing uh, engraved barrel heads for customers. We still do some now, mostly for realtors here uh, in Central Kentucky. Uh, but uh, uh, we use that laser predominantly to kind of just add that little custom touch on some pieces. Uh, so here besides myself uh, with Lakeside, uh, one of my other co-founders, Ryan Corrigan, uh, he uh, still works full-time for the University of Kentucky. We've been friends for um, about 13 years now. We met uh, at church and uh, just kind of hit it off. We had very similar personalities. Uh, we previously also had a uh, home remodeling business together. We uh, mostly decks, fences, uh, basement remodels, etc. And uh, we just kind of uh, really both enjoyed woodworking. Uh, Ryan actually uh, graduated uh, from woodworking school out in St. Louis. Uh, so he's, he's taught me a lot, uh, answers a lot of my questions. Uh, I kind of come up with some crazy ideas and he brings me down to earth uh, and uh, tells me how to make them much easier. Uh, we also have uh, Chris Hurst. Uh, we brought Chris Hurst on in the middle of 2017. Uh, Chris was uh, actually first a customer of ours. Uh, he was one of our first uh, wallboard installations. Uh, we kind of hit it off and uh, started just uh, kind of chatting, uh, got to know each other a little bit, and uh, he was uh, in the process of looking for something new to do. I uh, really liked uh, the idea of working with his hands, and so we brought him on just kind of as a, a helper and uh, has morphed into uh, one of our co-owners, and he's uh, been a tremendous addition to the team. Uh, we also recently added uh, another guy, Steve Malott. Yes. Okay. And uh, he's been a, a great help. Uh, it was actually funny. We, we met at a, uh, a homeschool group uh, field trip, and he mentioned to me that he's uh, always wanted to be an apprentice somewhere to learn a little bit more about woodworking. And uh, we, uh, again, happened to have a need. Uh, same thing that happened when uh, Chris came on board. And uh, we just started talking, and uh, he started showing up and 
we, uh, we put him to work. So he's been, been an awesome help. Uh, in addition to the wood capabilities that we have here, we also provide some steel fabrication. Uh, we make a lot of our table bases. Uh, we are able to do uh, cutting, welding. Uh, we do have a plasma that we can cut things by hand in addition to uh, just your traditional mitered or straight cuts. One of the biggest reasons why I wanted to uh, start Lakeside uh, was it all started really my wife wanted a, a, a live edge slab table built so we uh, I built her the table and from there had many people asking for tables themselves and so I needed a little bit larger space to work uh, built this shop back here behind my house so we, I was originally working out of the garage and uh, you know families have uh, been a very big part of my life. I come from a, uh, a line of uh, family owned business um, and I was raised in it, participated in it and uh, have always seen how big uh, just that family impact can be. Uh, we, one of the reasons we love making tables is uh, it was very important for me growing up that uh, we had dinner every night as a family and so we love the opportunity we get to make these tables that families can get together, sit, eat a meal together, and they'll remember for uh, their lifetime. And uh, so we've, we've really incorporated that family atmosphere. Uh, my wife helps out. Uh, she does all of our social media and also is, uh, I love, she likes to call herself the head sweeper. Uh, she loves to just come down and help in any way she can. Uh, that also, my, my two boys will come down and they help. They love running stuff on the laser and uh, we just have really created a family atmosphere to where we, we put family first. Uh, I know uh, that was one of the things that Chris loved as soon as he started here, that uh, you know, he was able to work around his family schedule and be able to incorporate them also with this. And uh, Ryan also brings his kids uh, out here and they kind of help from time to time. So it's, it's really important to us that we show our children just how a business and owning a business is and how you work and how how you make money and uh, just how you can support your family and so it's just really important to us to allow them to see that most kids their their mom or dad uh, they just leave in the morning they go somewhere they don't know what they really do but here our children get to see how our time and our physical input can create a product that then we're able to sell and provide for our families. Mm -hmm.